Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Do you know about the winter season? No. Let me tell you all about it in a way that's super fun and easy to understand. Winter is one of the four seasons that happen during the year. Imagine the year as a big circle with four slices and winter is like the slice where everything gets cold and covered in sparkly snow. Firstly, let's talk about the weather. In winter, the air outside becomes cold. It's like nature is wearing a frosty jacket. You might need to wear warm clothes like a fluffy jacket, a hat that covers your ears, and cozy mittens to keep your hands warm. Now, let's talk about snow. Snow is like a big, soft blanket that covers the ground. It falls from the sky in tiny, delicate ice crystals and turns everything into a winter wonderland. You can play in the snow by building snowmen, having snowball fights, or making snow angels. It's so much fun! <laughs> winter also brings some special holidays. One of them is called Christmas. During Christmas, People decorate their homes with colorful lights, shiny ornaments, and a big green tree. Santa Claus, a friendly man with a white beard and a red suit, brings gifts to children all around the world on Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas! <laughs> the season when some animals take a little nap called hibernation. They snuggle up in warm places to sleep through the cold months and wake up when it gets warmer. Speaking of animals, some birds fly to warmer places during winter. They do this because it's too cold for them to find food, so they go on a special vacation to places where the sun is shining and the air is warm. But my little friend, the best part of winter is snuggling up with your family and friends. As a result, winter is a chilly and charming season full of snow, holidays, and special moments with the people you care about. It's a time to bundle up, play in the snow, and share warmth and joy with others. I hope you have the most amazing winter full of laughter, love, and magical adventures. Hello there, little friend. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we will explore everything about summer season. Do you like summer season? Summer is my favorite season. Summer is a super duper special time of the year when the sun shines brightly and everything becomes warm and colorful. Let me tell you all about it in a way that's fun. Firstly, we will discuss about the warm sunshine, a big happy ball of light in the sky. That's the sun. During summer, the sun gives us extra hugs and its warm rays make everything feel cozy. It's like nature's way of saying, time to have some fun in the sun. In summer, we get to wear cool and colorful clothes. <laughs> Say goodbye to heavy jackets and hello to comfy shorts, flowy dresses, and cool t-shirts. It's like dressing up in a rainbow to match the vibrant season. Another thing about summer is the bright blue sky you'll see the sky wearing its favorite color. It's as if the sky is a giant canvas and the sun is painting it with the happiest colors. You might even see fluffy clouds floating by, like cotton candy in the air. Have you noticed the flowers in gardens and parks? They're like nature's fireworks, exploding with colors. Roses, daisies, and sunflowers show off their petals, making everything look like a magical fairyland. Summer is a time when busy bees buzz around, collecting sweet nectar from flowers. Butterflies flutter by with their beautiful wings, adding even more colors to the sunny scenery. It's like a little insect parade.
another amazing, and my favorite is picnics in summer. Grab a blanket and some yummy snacks, because summer is the perfect time for picnics. Imagine sitting on the green grass, enjoying juicy watermelon, ice cream, and maybe even a sandwich. It's like having a tasty outdoor feast. Friends and family, enjoying on sunny beach. If you're near the ocean, summer means beach days. Feel the soft sand between your toes, listen to the waves singing, and maybe build a sandcastle. It's like having a sandy playground right by the sea. This brings along barbecue parties and grill time with it. Sometimes we cook our food outside on a grill during summer. The smell of delicious burgers, chickens, and veggies sizzling is like a tasty summer symphony. It's time for a barbecue party. Summer is a time when families sometimes go on exciting vacations. Whether it's a road trip or flying to faraway places, it's like going on a grand adventure filled with new discoveries and lots of laughter. The beautiful thing of summer is, when the day is done, the sun paints the sky with the most beautiful colors, pinks, oranges, and purples. Watching the sunset is like saying goodnight to the day in the most splendid way. And one more thing add, the love of summer is long days and short nights. The days feel longer and the nights come later. It's like the sun wants to stay up and play a little more before bedtime. More daylight means more time for fun. We can plan fruit parties in summer because summer fruit parties are like a rainbow on your plate, full of juicy strawberries, sweet watermelons, and fruity fun. It's a tasty adventure for little taste explorers. And I think we might be forgetting something. Summer is a time of harvesting crops. Some families have gardens where they grow their fruits and vegetables. Imagine picking ripe tomatoes, crunchy cucumbers, and maybe even some herbs. It's like having a mini farm in your own backyard. So, my little friend, summer is not just a season. It's a delicious journey filled with the tastiest treats and the freshest fruits. Whether you're biting into watermelons, enjoying a popsicle, or sipping on lemonade, each taste is like a bite of summer magic. Summer is a time of warmth, sunshine, and exciting adventures. It's a season filled with laughter, tasty treats, and the joy of playing outside. I hope you have the most wonderful summer, full of happy moments and lots of sunshine. Hi, my young explorers. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we will discuss about spring season. It's like the most amazing time ever when the flowers wake up from their winter nap and burst into colors like magic. Imagine fields full of bright pink cherry blossoms, yellow daffodils, and purple crocuses. It's like a fairy tale garden coming to life right before your eyes. Spring is when bees buzz around collecting yummy nectar and butterflies flutter by with their colorful wings. Can you imagine chasing butterflies in the garden and watching bees buzz from flower to flower? It's like having your own magical butterfly parade. It brings the sun out to play and having a lot of rainy days. After the rain, we get to see rainbows in the sky. Imagine running outside to feel the warm sunshine on your face and spotting a rainbow stretching across the sky after a spring shower. It's like having your own rainbow adventure. It is the season when baby animals are born, like cute little chicks and fluffy bunnies hopping around. Playing in the gardens during spring is the best fun ever. Springtime in the garden is where dreams come to life and every moment is filled with wonder and delight. <laughs> With the warmer weather, spring is the perfect time to get creative outdoors. Gather your family and friends for a barbecue or picnic in the park. Dot grilling burgers, munching on sandwiches, and enjoying delicious food together in the great outdoors. It's like having a tasty feast surrounded by the ones you love. Created on April 22nd each year to raise awareness about environmental issues and promote conservation efforts. It's a day to appreciate the beauty of nature and take action to protect our planet for future generations. Easter is a special holiday celebrated in the springtime, usually in April. It's a time for families to gather, decorate colorful eggs, and go on Easter egg hunts. 
We also celebrate the joy of new life and hope, just like the flowers blooming in spring. As the flowers bloom in spring, the air fills with the sweet melodies of chirping birds. Can you hear them singing their joyful songs? Spring is like a symphony of nature, with each bird adding its own unique tune to the chorus. Close your eyes and listen to the music. Come back, friends. Today is my first day at school. And now it's 7 o'clock. It's time to wake up. Ah, how difficult it is to wake up early in the morning. Now it's time to brush your teeth and wash your face. I think I should go outside and say good morning to everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, my daughter. Have a nice day. I think you are very excited to go to school. Now grab your bag, you are running late. Now I will pick up my bag and then go for breakfast. These are my siblings, say hi to them. Now, it's time to say goodbye to my parents for school. This is bus stop and I'm waiting for the bus with my friend. The signal is red right now, so we will stop here, and when it turns green, we will go. Now the signal is green, we will go. We are on the way. We all are very excited. We are in front of our school. On the first day, we did various things at school. Now, you can see for yourself. Good morning, students. Welcome to our school. I hope you all are fine and you like this school. My name is Sarah and I am your class teacher. I will teach you English. It's my introduction. Now, you guys give me your short introduction. Start from there. Firstly, you give me your introduction. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ali, and I'm five years old. I'm very excited to be there with all of you. Well done, Ali. Next one, please. Good morning, everyone. My name is Leah, and I'm six years old. I am very excited to learn English. Well done. Shall we start reading? Yes. yes. So, today we will learn about fruits and vegetables. Listen to me for now and write only when I say. The first fruit name is apple. Normally, it is red in color and much sweet in taste. It grows on trees. We can add apple in salad. It can make us healthy. Can you tell me more about its uses? Yes, we can make juice and shake with apple. Well done, Leah. Anyone else? Yes, we can use it in baking and making sauces like apple mint sauce. Well done, Ali. You all are absolutely right. We can use apple in different ways. Now, it's time to go home. But first, write in your diary. Your homework is to write any two uses of orange. Now pack your bags and let's go home. We'll meet tomorrow. Now we are going to home. Let's meet tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching our video. If you're interested in my whole school day, select the next part of the video. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can enjoy more interesting.